Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today what we're going to talk about is what the weather is like in Thailand from month to month. When's a good time to be here? When's not the greatest time? So we'll look at the pros and cons of each month. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what is the best time to be here in Thailand. And what I mean by that is mostly weather wise. So that is going to be from November through January would be the best time to be here in Thailand if you're on vacation. Why is that? And that is because it's cooler those times of year, meaning it's hot year round here in Thailand. You may even think it's hot in those months that we're talking about right now, but I can assure you that it is a lot cooler than it is the rest of the year. Another thing that's good between November and January is that it doesn't rain a lot. The rainy season ends and now we're at a point to where you may get an occasional rain, but it's going to be rare. Therefore, it allows you to enjoy the outdoors even more. Because the rainy season just ended, that means that everything is still green and lush and beautiful. If you're going to things that involve water, like a river or a waterfall, they'll still be in full force, so everything is really good. But there's also some bad things about coming during that time as well. That's when everybody's coming. So it's gonna be the high tourism season. That's when you're gonna have tourists blocking up everything, everything that you probably want to go to. The rates are also going to be higher that time of year. So you're going to spend the most money on your hotel and your excursions and basically everything else that a tourist would want to do here in Thailand during that time is going to be very expensive and you're going to be competing, getting into things, getting a seat, whatever, with a lot of other tourists. Next, we're going to go over the months that aren't very good here and what's going on during those months that may still draw you here. So that is going to be the month of February through, let's just go through April. So that's February, March, and April. This is when it gets really, really hot. I mean, to the point to where you're absolutely miserable. So if you think it's hot in other times of the year here, come during those times and you'll find out what hot really is. It's also, by that point, it hasn't rained in months and now it's dry as toast. And because it's dry, most of the vegetation and everything else that's so beautiful and green is now getting brown. Now, if that wasn't enough, it's also the time the smoky season hits. If you're not familiar with what that is, the smoky season is when all of the farmers start burning their old crops. There's fires going on everywhere, including neighboring countries, all agricultural. All that smoke is going up into the air and it is everywhere and it makes life kind of miserable here. You can't see the blue sky anymore. The air is not healthy for you. If you do have any respiratory issues, they may be worse during this time of year. However, there are some reasons that still draw people to this time of year, especially in the month of April. And that is because that is when Songkran is. That's the big Thai water festival here in Thailand. So for the most part, it's going to be, there's going to be a lot less tourists this time of year, except for around the three week time frame, a week before, during, and after Songkran. That's going to be a busy time because everyone's here for that. Other than that, though, it's going to be a great time to get discounts on a lot of things. And of course, you'll be able to do excursions, everything else. But with the rest of it that I just said may not make it worth your time. So this is, these are the months that I would say you need to avoid Thailand. Now we're going to look at May and June. So May is when the rains start coming back, which is really nice because that means that everything is going from brown to green again and it's going to be slightly cooler because the hottest months are already behind us and with the rain comes clouds and everything else so we do get some shade it's a really great time to be here you're going to beat the mosquitoes because the mosquitoes will be in full force in our next section when we go into the rainy season but those two months are a decent time to be here again it's the low season you're going to pay a lower price for everything you're also going to be able to enjoy 
I think, decent weather at that time. So if you're looking for a time to come that's really good that isn't in the prime time with the big crowds, you may want to take a look at these two months. Now we're going to look at July through October. Really, it would be the middle of October. We'll, we'll just put in the whole month of October. So this is the full-fledged rainy season. And don't let that fool you. It doesn't mean it's raining every day, all the time. It just means this is the time of year in Thailand where there is a consistent rain. There, there's a good chance of rain. So I was recently in Krabi during the rainy season, and we had a great time with great weather. Yes, it did rain, mostly at night, and I think we had one day of a little bit of rain, but you know, it was, it was a great time to be there. The skies are always beautiful in the rainy season because after the rain, you've got the blue clouds with the white, I mean, excuse me, the white puffy clouds of the blue sky. You've got uh, everything lush and beautiful. The uh, rivers are going fast. The waterfalls are in full effect. So it's really a great time to be here. And it's a little bit cooler because of all the rain. And it's also a time when the tourists aren't here. So you can enjoy a lot during this rainy season. So definitely don't use this as a time to avoid. Now, what are the downers to this time of year? Well, this is when all the mosquitoes start breeding heavily and it doesn't seem like you can go anywhere without putting on bug spray. But just wear bug spray, you should be fine. If you forget bug spray, you end up in a restaurant, ask them for some. Just about everywhere carries it. They also do sell it at 7-Eleven and everywhere else. So it is very readily available. So there's a lot of pluses to being here during the rainy season. So I hope this helps and answers some of your questions. I'm sure that most of you have a good idea of when you're going to be here and you're trying to find out, uh oh, what did I just get myself into? What's going on in Thailand during that time? So I hope this clarified some things for you. And if there's other videos on Thailand that you're looking at, like uh, anything, well, just name the subject. We've got over 300 videos on our channel, all of them or most of them are for Thailand and especially in Chiang Mai where I am located. So make sure you do check that out. If you feel so inclined, buy us a coffee. We really would appreciate it. it helps the channel out a lot. And also if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If Thailand's your thing, we're going to cover it for you and I'm trying to give you as much accurate information as I can. My wife and I have lived here for three and a half years and we really enjoy having the channel and getting that information to you. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video by saying thank you in Thai, which is Kap Kun Kap.